Welcome, my name is Niklas Faut and I'm the Conti Pressure Check Global Operations Manager from Germany and I'm here to launch Conti Pressure Check in the Middle East. The system monitors tire pressure and temperature and live feeds this information into a display or into a telematic device. The benefits are an increased tire life, reduced tire costs per kilometer and improved safety on the road. So the first step to install the Conti Pressure Check system is to install the tire sensor into the tire. For doing this, we rotate the tire to find the DOT so that we can see afterwards, also from the outside, where the tire sensor is mounted. So as you can see here, we find the DOT and we take the chalk to mark this position. As a next step, we twist around the tire to the bottom so that you can easily scrape the tire and clean the tire from the inside. For the cleaning and scraping process, we use our special liquid buffer, which you can buy on the market. And this is for cleaning the tire from the inside. And we use our scraper to scrape the tire to make it really clean. We repeat this step two or three times so that the tire is like really clean. After doing the scraping for three times and putting, attaching the liquid buffer, we are now using some tissues to get the rest out of the tire. As the next step, we roll the tire at the position which we cleaned down to the floor so that when later on attaching the tire sensor to the inner side of the tire, to the inner liner, you can press heavily so and the tire is not rotating. For the installation of the tire sensor, we need our insert tool, the tire sensor, the special glue and the spatula. On the tire sensor, you will find two arrows showing the direction on how to mount the tire sensor into the tire. You find these arrows also on top and on the bottom of the insert tool. So as the first step, we gently push the tire sensor into the insert tool. As you can see, the tire sensor is also not always clean from the bottom side. So we take a tissue, apply some liquid buffer onto the tissue and then we gently clean up the tire sensor from below. As a next step, we take the spatula to spread all the glue precisely all over the sensor. And now we are ready to glue in the sensor into the tire. So you press the tire sensor for 10 to 30 seconds into the tire until it fully bonds to the inner liner of the tire. To remove the insert tool, you can gently shake it from side to side so that you don't rip off any kind of the sensor in case something got stuck. To check if everything went well, you can press your thumb a little bit around the sensor to see if everything is done. Afterwards, you can use the hand tool to check if the tire sensor is activated and ready to go. Step two, after installing the tire sensors into the tires, we will focus now on installing the electronic components onto the vehicle. As you can see, we already have attached the bracket with the CCU between the first and the last axle of the truck. The bracket with the CCU is mounted in the middle of the chassis so that it can see or receive the data from each tire perfectly. To mount the additional receiver, you have to find a spot which is facing the end of the truck to the trailer so that the additional receiver is able to pick up the tire sensor data also from the trailer. As you can see here, there's a nicely spot and you only have to attach two bolts to it and to swipe in the additional receiver into the bracket, put the cable from underneath into it, slide it in and only put the protection cap on. After you found the right position for the central control unit, our CCU and our additional receiver, we now need to focus on the cables. You will find sub harness C and sub harness C on the ground. sub harness D will be the cable going from the CCU to the end of the truck to be connected to the additional receiver. Please make sure that all the cables which you attach to the vehicle are nicely stripped with cable straps to existing cables. Step three, once you have pulled the cable to the front of the truck, you open up the engine compartment 
to get the cable through. Now you open the housing of the fuse box from the outside to attach the cable into the inside of the truck. Now you find the open end of Sapana C, so the connection to the central control unit and the display in the driver cabin near the fuse box. As the next step, you now take Sapanas A, which is the power supply getting from the fuse box to be connected by an electrician to the fuse box. As the next step, you attach our plugs to the open ends, so you have power supply and the data connection. For the data connection, you have a brown and a white cable. Brown is for can low and white for can high. So now you have to make sure that you connect the data cable from the display to the data cable from the CCU and the power supply coming from the fuse box to the display and to the CCU. Once this is done, you can turn on the ignition and the display will light up and show the information system not configured. If you see this information on the screen, the installation has been successfully and we can move on to step number four. After the tire sensors have been installed successfully into the tires and all electronic components and cables are fitted to the truck, we can now start the configuration process, the so-called teach-in process. For this, we need our handheld tool device and to be turned on. You will find the configuration called new installation on the handheld tool device. It will ask you for some basic information of the axles, of the recommended pressure, and if you have a chosen lift axle or not. After you typed in the license plate number, it will start to configure the system. For this, the handheld tool is asking you to walk around the vehicle from tire to tire and to scan in each tire sensor ID. After you have scanned in each tire sensor ID, the installation is successfully and now you need to upload this information to the central control unit via the display. For this, you take the diagnosis cable, connect it to the handheld tool and to the back side of the display. Now you can press enter and the data will be uploaded to, via the display to the CCU. After two minutes, you should be able to see all tire data information in the display. And this is an indicator that the whole process has been successful. For more information, please visit the link on the screen.